What's going on guys? This is David here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade from iOS 10.3 back to 10.2 to jailbreak. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you I am running iOS 10.3 beta 1 right now on my iPhone 6s. There is the brand new iCloud section. It looks kind of weird. It looks kind of different. This is the first time I've actually run 10.3. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see some of the changes that they made. Now one giant thing you guys have to know is Apple changed the file system in iOS 10.3. It's different than 10.2. So what that means is you cannot actually shift or option click check for update, which you normally can do. But anyway, you want to go onto your computer and go to ipsw.me, scroll down and find your device. I have the iPhone 6S, and then you're going to want to find the iOS 10.2 IPSW for your device, and then go ahead and press on that blue download button. Once you have the IPSW downloaded, then we can actually start with the tutorial. For the purpose of this tutorial, I actually already have the IPSW downloaded, so that way you guys don't have to wait. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your device and once you actually have your device with you, we can start this. So go ahead and actually grab your device, open up iTunes, and what we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to make sure that you actually do shift click restore iPhone or option click restore for iPhone. Then select the IPSW that we have downloaded and then it will say iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 10.2 and will verify the restore with Apple. So you can go ahead and press on restore it saying extracting the software and this part is sped up significantly. You guys can see on the right it says iOS 10.3 iTunes is restoring the software on this phone. Um, so it actually, my recording cut out on screen flow because I, I didn't have enough space on my computer left. Uh, but it's just going through all the process and stuff. And the reason why we actually had to go and restore is because we had to make sure um, that the file system was working correctly. So we're going to go ahead and restore from backup. Um, so that's another crucial thing uh, in this process is you want to make sure you have a backup from before iOS 10.3. Uh, and right now I'm restoring the backup. Uh, so it says restoring the iPhone from backup time remaining um, and I sped this up significantly again um, Now I cut to a bunch of uh, other takes of this because uh, This was taking a long time So unfortunately the way that this actually works is that in iOS 10.3 Apple changed around the way that they do their file system It's different from how it used to be in iOS 10.2 so it just won't downgrade correctly it won't downgrade at all actually it'll give you an error if you try to do this inside of iTunes now one thing to note is this will only work so long as the iOS 10.2 signing window is open at the recording of this video right now the iOS 10.2 signing window is open this video will be updated in the title and in the annotations and in the description anywhere else I will let you guys know when this stops working but for the moment as I'm recording this this is working and you guys can see that it asked me to download 10.2.1 we want to be on iOS 10.2 not 10.2.1 because we want to be able to jailbreak that's the reason why we're downgrading probably that's the reason why I'm downgrading in this video anyway um, so there's the setup screen we're just gonna go ahead and speed right through this so here we go, let's speed right through this. Welcome to iPhone, get started. And there's 10.2, and there's all my applications. I know this is going super quick, but I figured why not speed this up. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate Please it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace.